And the best of me is barely breathing When I'm not somebody I believe in Hold on to me When I miss the light The night is stolen When I'm slamming all the doors you've opened Welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Friday, January 21st. That was Lauren Daigle um, with her song, Hold On To Me. Um, and so, had a little trouble picking a song today. Some days they fit really well, and other days a little harder. But sort of fits today. I'll share, I wrote down one of the words, uh, one of the, the lines from the song that I think fits really well with today's message. But anyway, it's good to be with you today uh, to start this Friday off together. Um, let me say good morning to you, Barbara and Janet. I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer today. And Augusta and Esther. Yes, blessed and grateful. I've got my blessed and grateful mug. Uh, it's good to be with you this morning. Good morning, Daniel and Celia. I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer this morning. Good morning, Priscilla and Donna. Welcome, holding you in prayer today. And Andrea and Betty, I'm glad you're here, holding you in prayer today. Uh, good morning, Marion and Vinette. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. And Susan and Marilyn, welcome, holding you in prayer today. Good morning, Michelle and Blanca. I'm glad you're here today, holding you in prayer. And good morning, Yolette. Welcome. It's good to have you here too. So good to be with all of you. Today we're going to be looking at second, I'm sorry, first Peter, um, chapter five. And I think uh, mm, sorry. I may do six and seven. First Peter. Yeah. First Peter chapter five, verses six and seven. First Peter chapter five, verses six and seven. So if you want to turn to there, uh, turn there in your Bibles, that's towards the end of the New, the New Testament. 
Um, my name is Cindy Stauffer. Uh, I am blessed to be the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And we are right in the heart of New Brunswick on the corner of George and Liberty Street, across from the State Theater and the Heldridge Hotel. We're right in the middle of New Brunswick. And uh, it is a great place to be in ministry and a great congregation. Uh, and I am blessed to serve as their pastor. So I'm glad you're with us this morning. Let's take a look at um, 1 Peter 5. 1 Peter 5, verse 6 and 7 tells us this. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So today's devotion is entitled Casting Cares. Peter's words are simple enough to understand. When you are worried, when you are afraid, when you are stressed, turn it over to God. God loves you. Let God take care of it. We do that as Christians, don't we? We go to church. We hear God's promises. We return home encouraged. We decide we, are going, we aren't going to worry anymore. We aren't going to stress. God is in control. God loves me. God forgives me. But then Monday morning and the credit card bill comes. How did, I, how did we get so far into debt? How are we going to pay for this? What are we going to do? You go to the doctor on Tuesday. He says he has to run more tests and it looks like cancer. Why God? Why are you doing this to me? On Wednesday, your boss tells you that this year the company is going to have to lay people off. What else can go wrong? It's fitting that Peter tells us to cast our anxiety on God. Whenever I hear that verse, it makes me think of fishing. In fishing, when you cast, you throw the lure from you, away from you, into the water. After you cast, though, you always reel it back in. How often don't we, how often we do that as Christians? We walk out of church on Sunday, renewed and refreshed, relying on God. We cast all our cares on God, but then Monday problems, Tuesday troubles, Wednesday worries, and we reel the anxiety back in. A young lady from my congregation recently wrote on Facebook, frog, which means fully rely on God, frog. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. A friend quickly and wisely responded, just wish it was as easy to do just wish it was as easy to do as it is to say. So how do we do it? How do we trust God on Tuesday with the same confidence we feel on Sunday? Just think about what happened in church that gave you peace and confidence. Simply put, we had a conversation with God. We talked to God in prayer. We cast all our worries and cares on God. We then hear God speak in the word and in the sacraments, and then we walk out and feel that presence, that refreshed and renewed presence. Do you find yourself reeling your worries back in during the week? That's because you need to talk with God during the week. Talk to God in prayer, cast your cares on God, and then turn to the promises of God work, God's word. Open your Bibles, read Romans 8, read Psalm 23, read Psalm 46, or any of other 
any of a, any of, sorry, uh, any of the other hundreds of comforting passages in the scriptures. Find in God's promises the peace you need. As frail human beings, we will always str struggle to fully rely on God. As frail human beings, we will always struggle to fully rely on God. We all at times forget to let go and let God and to take care of our troubles and we reel our worries back in. And when we do that, we must go back and have a conversation with God. Cast all your cares on him. He cares for you. Yeah, I'm not a great fisher person. I don't fish. I think I'm always a little too loud, but I do get, I definitely get that casting it out and reeling it back in because that's something I do really well. Um, so I thought about um, this passage today from scripture and how easily, you know, it is um, for us to reel in back our worries and anxieties, especially when it comes to the nighttime, right? It's hard for us to believe and trust. So I started off with hold on to me. It's hard for us to trust that God is holding us through it all. You know, that God can hold these things, these weighty things that we have, these, uh, you know, in, in past sermons I've used rocks, these rocks of weight, of worry, of concern, of fears, of frustrations, of, of you know, a, a whole raft of things, these weights that we carry around on our back. God doesn't want us to hold on to those. They do us no good. Uh, what God wants is for us to care. So maybe not, you know what I'd like you to think, instead of thinking about casting a um, fishing rod, which you, which you can so easily reel back in, what if we could cast them as heavy stones, <clears throat> these stones that will sink all the way down you can't pick them up again. I mean, you'd have to dive in. You'd have to do a whole lot of work to go back and get those rocks. But what if we could cast those an image and, and, and put an imagery in our mind as if we are throwing them, these heavy burdens that we have carried too long, throwing them, letting them go, and watching them sink and trusting that God doesn't want us to carry them any longer. It's, you know, I know when we're in the midst of something, and those are big things that he lifted up, losing a job, the fear of possibly losing a job, a fear of a cancer diagnosis, mounting credit card bills, all of those things, it is, it is very easy to let them weigh us down but it does no good ultimately. It does no good for our physical body. It does not really fix the problem by living in anxiety. All it does is weigh us down and keep us stuck. And God doesn't want us there. So today, how do we cast those, lay down those stones or toss them cast them out into the into the the lake or whatever body of water you're imagining and then turn to God turn to God in prayer in scripture whatever it is that's going to reconnect you with the source that reminds you who you are the part i love about today's passage is not the casting part, it's this part. 
cast all your anxiety because he cares for you. Like how? We have a God, not a distant God, not a God that is out of our reach, not a God that set things into motion and is just watching things play out, not a God that's a chess chess uh, player moving us as pawns on a, a board. No, we have a God who cares about us. And friends, there's nothing more hopeful, more uh, uh, promising than knowing that our God deeply cares about us. And so today, how are you going to cast down, cast at, and throw away, put down those burdens? God doesn't want you to hold on to them any longer. Let us come to God in prayer. Let us pray. Oh God, we come before you today acknowledging that too often we have held on to our burdens. Even when we have put them down, we have picked them back up so quickly. As if holding on to the burdens makes us stronger. As if we don't trust you to hold on to the burden for us. So forgive us, Lord. And today, Lord, I lift up each person on the call. They come today with their own burdens. They come today with their own fears and anxieties, things that have plagued them for years or maybe just recently. And God, I know you care about them. I know you love them. I know you want more for them. So Lord, I pray today that they will be able to cast their cares upon you and let them sink and feel the freedom that you offer them, the deep love that you long to give to them. Lord, remind us again and again of your deep care for us. Keep us from accumulating these burdens that not only keep us from living the full life that you have, have, have desired for us, but from living and seeing the lives of those around us. Let us cast our burdens on you this day trusting that you are holding on to us in the midst of all of it. We thank you, Lord, for loving us this much. We thank you, Lord, for holding on to all that we can no longer bear. Lead us this day. Lead us, Lord, to live lives of purpose, and promise with you at the center of it. We ask all of this, Lord Jesus, in your precious name, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, Cast those burdens, throw them out, and don't reel them back in today. Trust that God is carrying you throughout this day. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. I'm going to go back. Priscilla and Marilyn, I'm not able to read your full, and Barbara, your full quotes, but I want to go back and... Uh, 
maybe it's not Marilyn, Priscilla and Barbara. I'm going to go back and read them later. But um, it's good to be with all of you, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Stay warm, um, and uh, please continue to pray for our friends. Uh, I know many have made it to the Code Blue warming shelters, but um, it's cold out there, so we want to be in prayer for our friends that live on the streets. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a very blessed day. Bye, friends.